Today, we need to have a serious talk about the new NCLEX, also termed NGN, or Next Generation NCLEX. Um, there's some major changes that are coming starting in April, so if you're watching this video before that, great, you're going to be prepared. If you're watching it after that, just notify, just know that these are some of the new changes that will be with that new test. So I don't want anyone failing on my watch, so I'm definitely here to help you. Um, the new test, as mentioned, is termed Next Generation NCLEX, or NGN, which is what we often call it. Um, let's jump in and talk a little bit about that background of why they're making this big change and if you should really be frightened or not. So as mentioned, April 2023, that's the official rollout date. Um, it, the focus of this new exam is clinical judgment, okay, with a bunch of new item types. So again, clinical judgment and several new item types, which we'll go ahead and go over. Your item type. So it starts with the matrix, and there's a couple different options within the matrix. So you can have the matrix multiple choice, and then a matrix multiple response. Then we have our normal multiple response. We have multiple response that we have our SATAs, also known as select all that apply. We have multiple response. Then we have multiple response grouping. And then another category we, uh, we have our new items are drag and drop. Drag and drop clons, drag and drop rationale, drag and drop clons, drag down rationale. And then we also have highlights. So here you might be asked to highlight text or highlight within a table. So these might be used for something within like say a, a case study and they call these hotspots. So it might ask you, what are some abnormal findings based upon this physical assessment? And you'd have to highlight those things. So that's an example of um, one of the highlight sections. Bow tie falls under what's called standalone items here, and the bow tie incorporates all six functions of the clinical judgment within one item. Then there's also trends, right? Many use any of the NGN title types, includes data that trends over time, vital signs, it could be labs, um, assessments, uh, intake and output, lots of different things to get us to know trends. Wow. Okay, that's probably the first time that you're hearing clons, drag and drop, bow tie questions. All of those are gonna be new. And quite honestly, they're gonna be kind of, they're gonna be a little bit challenged if you're not well prepared. Um, so it's important that you know what those item types actually look like in practice, not just that they're called a bow tie. So check out the video up here, and this is gonna be a video on the different item types and give you uh, examples of what they actually look like to prepare you. So you might be thinking, why Professor Rich, why? Why are they changing this NCLEX to a more clinical judgment focus and adding new item types? Well, quite honestly, some of the nursing schools nationwide haven't done the best job preparing uh, new nurses for clinical practice, okay? Um, so the National Council of State Boards, also known as the SCSBN, um, which is what that stands for, regulates and comes up with the exam and the licensure, no matter what state that you're in, you all take the same exam. All right, so the NCSBN determined that um, the new grads weren't being very prepared and they're making a lot of errors in those first couple years. And so as nurses, you know we're all about that evidence-based practice or EBP, EBP, right? Check this out. Kavanaugh and Shapar in 2021 did a research study and they looked at the years 2016 to 2020 and they found that um, only 14% of new grads in those four year periods of the, the group that they studied had the competencies that they should have upon graduation. So hearing that as a, as a educator, that frightens me. It should frighten you as a potential nursing student or getting ready to take the NCLEX that you might not have been prepared for your first job, right? So hence, um, it's necessary to make this major change to promote patient safety and better produce nursing graduates um, with the schools, but then also make sure you're passing that licensure test as well. So with that information, the NCLEX uh, Next Generation was born with, again, that focus on clinical judgment. So boom, NGN is here. What's new on the exam and what you really need to know? Breaking it down. All right, so how's it gonna affect you? And here's the details. Uh, clinical judgment, said it already multiple times. That's the focus. So if you don't know what that is yet, uh, keep watching, but you need to focus on that. Um, there's gonna be plenty of applications type knowledge questions that you've got throughout your nursing program and that you'll continue to get on the NCLEX. 
It's not designed to trick you. Um, and for a person who takes the minimum number of questions on the NCLEX, which is 85, um, you will get a maximum of 25% of these new item types, which we'll discuss. Um, if you are in that other um, range where you get 150 questions or the max, you will get a maximum of 19% MGN new item types. So again, you're, you can range from 25 to 19% depending on how you score um, and how many questions you get. Uh, but you will have a minimum of 19% of your NCLEX questions will be these new item types uh, focusing on clinical judgment. One of the new, new MGN items that you'll be given, um, which I think are very applicable and a great addition, are case study style questions, right? You're going to get three case studies total with six items of those item types within that case study. And the case study is focusing on these six things that I mentioned earlier, but you really need to know. Recognizing the cues, what matters most, analyzing those cues, what does that mean, what is it trying to tell us, Three, prioritize and hypothesize, which is where do I start? What's the most important thing? And number four, generate solutions. What can I do within my scope of practice to make it better? Five, take actions. What will I do and why? And then number six, we want to evaluate the outcomes. What the actions that we took, how did they work? It's not all bad news. One of the cool things with this new change is they're actually going to begin giving partial credit for some of the answers. So some of those higher level drag and drops, uh, select all that apply, you might get some partial credit if you don't select all the correct answers. So that's good news at least, right? If this is kind of creeped up on you, just remember the maximum amount that you'll get of these new question types is 25%. So it's not a, a freak out huge moment, but practicing these and knowing them while you're in nurse school can be very helpful. All right, that's the end of the kind of new stuff, specifically those new items and the different item types and how many you're gonna get. Um, but you might still have a few different questions. So let's talk about time, right? Do you get more time with these new item types? That's something you might be wondering. Actually, they're not gonna increase the time limit on um, the NCLEX. And the reason for that is the research has shown that it only takes on average 15 seconds longer to answer those new NGN type questions. Therefore, they've decided not to give any additional time um, while you're taking that exam. The testing mode, what we mean by that is the NCLEX is adaptive. If you don't know what that is, uh, kind of look it up. But basically what it is, is uh, you're gonna answer questions and the it gives you you should have a chance of getting that question 50% right, 50% wrong. The more questions you answer, the more accurate it gets at predicting the level that you're at. Thus, um, it knows that you're very strong if you get the minimum number of questions, and as you continue to increase, it gets more precise to know if you know the content or you don't, okay? Um, so the case studies that we mentioned, and especially with some of those new module questions within the case studies, those are not computer adapted meaning you're not gonna get a harder case study question because you answered the first one correctly. Those are just kind of set in stone, but your regular knowledge and application questions are still gonna be computerized adaptive questions. Final important reminders. The exam's gonna cover those same content areas before. Look at your priority frameworks, look at your uh, ATI, look at your HESI, look at your NCSBN booklets for those categories that NCLEX is testing you on, those are not changing and that's very important to know. Most items in the exam are gonna be the same type of items as before. Again, you're gonna have, you're gonna have 75% um, and that's the minimum of the same type of questions that you had before. So it's not, it's not as big that we have to worry about. The scoring of the exam will not change. Um, specifically, the pass-fail type rate is what we're talking about. The scoring in regards to partial credit will change, but the overall number of questions that you need to get correct will not change um, due to this new change. And go ahead and, and reminder to review some of my other MGN videos if you're looking for more information before you take that NCLEX. I hope you have a wonderful day and best of luck to you as you prepare for your NCLEX.